What do you got, Jimmy? Mike, what was the, your interpretation or what did they tell you about the last play, the first one foul? Uh, they didn't, you know, give me any interpretation. They just said that uh, obviously what that is is it felt like we hit the uh, snapper in the head or neck area. Did they announce strong? Was it tart? I, I don't know. Again, you had a better view than I did. I saw a quick replay. So, well, what was your take after seeing that replay? Uh, I, I don't know. That that. Uh, you know, and we're trying to block the kick. That, that's all it was. I don't know. We'll have to take a closer look at it, see what it was. You know, it was a quick replay. I don't know if we hit him in the head or not. You know, I mean, they, they, they felt like we did. I mean, it's not like we lost the game, guys. I, I mean, we could sit here and talk about one play. Like, what else you got? What was going wrong in the rushing attack? It seemed like, you know, especially Mike. Couldn't block him. Couldn't block him. Couldn't move him. Um, you know, tried some different schemes and, you know, give them credit. But, uh, you know, we we got to find ways to run the football. How costly was the inability to capitalize on the red zone today? Like a lot of other things, about as much as it was, you know, giving up big plays and not getting in any turnovers and and not stopping the run. So I think we're all all four phases. Uh, you know, didn't do a good enough job today, being uh, coaching and special teams, offense and defense. You lost the physical defense? physical battle today, Mike. Yeah, I mean, I think the numbers would would say so. You know, the numbers would say so, obviously, the way we rushed the ball, the way that we stopped the run, I don't think we tackled well. You know, we weren't able to, to get into any rhythm uh, in, in the running game. So, you know, I felt like there were times where things were, were working and clicking and then, you know, weren't able to continue to sustain that. And I thought we, you know, we'll see how we covered kicks uh, on tape. Yeah, their running success, just bad tackling, or what did you see there? I mean, just, you know, understanding that, you know, we're going to have to be able to fit fit some runs and play post eight or split safety defense against teams that, you know, have the skill players that they do. Um, you know, somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to tackle. You know, there's a lot of missed tackles out there today from from first view. How hard is it to defend Burrow scrambling too, given everything else you have to defend? I mean, we got to affect the quarterback better than what we did today. I hope we didn't think we were going to show up and sack him nine times. You know, we just we didn't do enough. You know, to affect the quarterback. Traylon Burks with a big game today. How much of a spark did he provide, especially in that drive leading to that field goal? Uh, you know, I'd say not enough. That would be my first answer, Joe. But you know, continuing to progress and, and make the play down the field. I know that he probably left one out there uh, on a check that Ryan had. I think on the third down, um, they they blitzed us, and, and Ryan you know gave him a chance, but. Um, Really proud of the way that he bounced back and wasn't frustrated. I mean, obviously he was disappointed, but to, to go make the play down the field, that was huge. What was the thought process kicking versus leaving the offense on the field on that last fourth down there in the fourth quarter? Um, just trying to, you know, secure some points and, and get a stop. You know, that's what the thought process was, and you know, and. Um, Fourth and five, we were trying to just make it closer for, for Caleb, you know, the third and long. Um, you know, I think the pro process was that we could, you know, we could get it stopped and, you know, have a chance to either win the game or, or tie it. That's what the thought process was. What did you see in the play challenge? challenge? I thought I saw the ball move and figured either way it was probably a decent, decent time to reset the defense. We were kind of been scrambling a little bit, so, you know. Didn't, didn't have a great view upstairs. That one's on me, not stretch. And you know, there wasn't, you know, wasn't really a replay. And I just figured it. Either way, we tried to need to calm down and try to force him to kick a field goal. How did Caleb handle things today? Well, I thought well. You know, I mean, we had the one that, you know, unfortunately uh, didn't. But you know, other than that, I thought he stepped in and had a, you know, you know was ready to go. I'm excited to, to to get out there and kick for us today. On that, on that one that didn't go right, was it? You know, something with the hold or just the, the... Yeah, like they always, when we miss them, it's a bad snap, a bad hold, and a bad kick. Make sure you write all three of those down. That's what happens. Bad snap, bad hold, bad kick. Mm-hmm. Right. And we didn't make it. But sometimes it's something with the operation. Other times he just pulled it. So I, that's what I was trying to get you about. Uh, maybe I, I just think we, we missed the kick. You know, we missed the kick today. Caleb missed that one. But that was, you know... When we used to miss them, you know, we went through all those kickers that one year. Every time we'd miss one, 
You know, I'd blame in the snap or the hold and the kind of the kickers like that. But I know you like to talk about the players at play, but did you think you were going to have Ben today? And was that kind of the last? Ben minute? wasn't uh, available today, Jimmy. So, you know, we have to be ready. Everybody has to be ready when they walk in the building uh, in a week to, um, to be ready to, to play as a starter, to be ready to play in the game. Um, things change throughout the week. You know, we get 48 guys. Sometimes we bring guys up from the practice squad. Some guys, sometimes things happen late in the week. So, you know, everybody has to be ready to go. On a Higgins touchdown, does McCreary need to play that more physically? Was it too physical by the offense in your estimation? I don't know. It looked like uh, everybody told me the ref reached at it. Maybe his hip was itching and he reached at his flag and then decided not to throw it. I don't know. But, I mean, I think we have to try to, you know, obviously go and play as physical as we can without, you know, you get to play the ball and you get to be a little bit more physical. But, you know, I mean, I think we just, the guy made a play. Costly were the red zone opportunities today that you guys weren't able to capitalize on. Yeah, just got to be got to be cleaner in the red zone. Um, obviously, it's something we pride ourselves on and put a, a lot of focus and importance on, you know, throughout the season. And uh, today we didn't execute well enough. Anything in particular in the red zone? Look, maybe a couple drops hurt the cause. Yeah, just overall, we just didn't make enough plays down there. You know, we got down there a few times and um, you know had had some opportunities, but you know just didn't make enough plays. I guess the end, of the end of the half, not being able to get points there and, and kind of finish off that drive. I mean, it was a little frustrating, but you know we did a good job of moving the ball down the field, and um, yeah, at the same time, you know, as, as an offense, you know, we want to be able to get in the end zone there. They did a good job of, of uh, you know, kind of playing soft and, and holding us out there at the end. Um, but yeah, would love to come away with points right there. What did they do better against the run than a lot of other teams have done? I'll take a look at the tape. You know, we uh, we knew they were going to be physical and big up front, and one up us a lot, put a bunch of guys on the line of scrimmage, um, and that's what they did. I don't think that was a surprise to anybody. Uh, we'll have to take a look at the tape and, and see exactly what was going on up there. You guys are typically a team that's really successful in the run. When you're not on a day like today, how difficult does that make it in the passing game? I mean, we still had some opportunities. You know, we made some plays down the field. Uh, I thought we we did some good things in the passing game. Uh, you know, made some plays. Some guys made the plays down the field for me, trailing uh, on the big one down the field. Uh, did some other good things on some underneath passing game. So, um, yeah, overall, we just got to be cleaner. But you know, I think there was opportunities there. Did you get a little scared with the ankle there again at one point today. Yeah, it got tweaked a little bit, uh, just kind of nature of, of what it is. You know, just get hit the wrong way, um, and, and you can tweak it at any moment. You mentioned him trying to catch. Is that what he's capable of doing? And could you kind of speak just to that play and him going up and getting the ball for you there? Yeah, it was a great job by him. Um, no, I had to uh, to make sure the backside corner wasn't falling off into that into that zone. And um, the guy was kind of on his on his heels at that point, so just tried to give him a chance to go up and make a play, and, and he did that. You know, he's shown that multiple times, you know, in practice and a few times in the games, not so far. So, you know, a lot of confidence going his way. I had one earlier in the in the first half. Uh, if I just had a half a second longer to uh, to get the ball off clean, we're going to have a, uh, an opportunity, um, you know, down the field. So, um, you know, he's doing a good job, not only on on the down the field stuff for us, but understanding uh, what we're doing underneath. You know, he was a part of a few checks today and did a good job in, in some of the checks. So. Um, you know, I think his confidence is growing, and, and my confidence in him is definitely growing. How much has both Traylon and Chig kind of earned your trust over the course of the season? Because it seems both of them are starting to make the big plays in the past eight weeks. Yeah, no, no question. I have a ton of confidence in, in both of those guys, as, as well as the other guys. You know, Robert and and Austin and Nick Westbrook as well. So, um, you know, the more those guys start making plays, then of course, as a quarterback, it gives you a lot of confidence to uh, to put a ball in their direction and, and have faith that they're going to make a play for you. This team obviously coming off is, is probably his best offensive performer against the Packers. How much was six games to go? You guys need to maybe find consistency to, to kind of enter the postseason with some momentum. Yeah, every game is a little bit different. You know, we just have to uh, to go out and try to execute one play at a time. You know, every every uh, run's not going to be a home run. I want to be efficient in the run game, and then you know take advantage of opportunities that arise in the pass game. So, um, like I said, we, we did did some good things today. Just have to be cleaner and overall as an offense make more plays and, and finish those drives with touchdowns. How comfortable are you guys right now? At 10, 10, 13, 13 games like this into the second half. 
I mean, yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're trying to go out and win a game, no matter what the score is, whether it's I mean, a low-scoring game or a high-scoring game. Our job is to go, go score more points than the other team. So, um, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to: is, is finding a way to score points and put more points on the board than the other team. Six points in the second half. Like, is there something that you could put a finger on and say, like, what you guys could do better to be more consistent in the second half? Uh, I mean, finishing drives could help, you know, just being able to get in the end zone when we're down there. Um, and we had some opportunities where we, stu we stubbed our toe a little bit and then stopped drives that, that had chances to keep going. So um, just overall, like I keep saying, I sound like a broken record, but just got to be cleaner and, and make more plays consistently throughout the game. What, what's Does that the same concept apply to the, you know, the 0 3 in a red zone today? That's unusual. Yeah, like I said, it's unusual. Uh, we put a lot of focus and attention and practice down in the resident, pride ourselves on being good down there. And today we didn't execute well enough. What's the feeling like, Ryan? You guys see the kick the field goal, think you get a chance to, for maybe a two minute drive and then flag and pretty much game is over. Maybe yeah, it was a crushing moment. You know, I, I was talking through uh, two minute adjustments on the sideline with my receivers. Had a lot of confidence that we were going to go down there and, um, you know, get a touchdown and, and either kick it to tie it or go for two to win it, you know, depending on what Vrabel wanted to do. So, uh, a ton of confidence in our group and um, definitely on the sideline there. And then, you know, what happened happened and uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, a crushing feeling. They doing something particularly well on, on defense today. It looks like it was probably as tough going as, as you might have had all year. Yeah, they executed. We didn't. Um, they kept playing. They came in to execute it, and we didn't do our job in the run game. You know, it's a rare thing for, for you guys, but do you think they wound up being the more physical team? I would think so, because you know we just couldn't get nothing started in the run game, and like I said, they had a plan. They came in to execute it, and, and they played better than we did. Feel like you guys need to do better, maybe moving forward to keep that from happening. I mean, you just go back to work, watch the film, learn from it, go back to work, focus on improving, focus on getting better. Another game coming up next Sunday. Um, learn from this one. Just get back to work. Did they do any more run blitzing? Maybe the teams only do it to show. I mean, they listen nickel some, and I mean, they shot the gaps with the backers. But in the, the day, we got rules, we got things. Um, you know, to, to, to block that and do what we need to do. But as collectively, we didn't do our job. Which difference does, does Ben make when he's in there with his experience playing center? I mean, yeah, I mean, Ben's smart. Um, he knows the ins and outs of his offense. Um, and um, he's a, a big part of, of what we do. And, um, you know, we went out today, so, I mean, I went no excuse. We just had to execute better and be locked in, all 11 of us. I know it's a long season. How much do the losses motivate you? How how upset should this team be about this one? Yeah, this one definitely, um, you know, it hurts. But at the end of the day, you know, you just got to learn and, and grow from it. And like I said, and, you know, come in tomorrow and watch the film and see what we need to correct and fix and get better and then focus on improving into the next one. You were on your way to the end zone, then the ball got punched out there. How long are you going to carry that? And, like, you know, as you look back on that, what, what went wrong? Um, I can't harp on that. Um, you know, thank God, trailers run to the ball. We end up scoring. I gotta have better ball security. Um, <clears throat> no excuses about me. Gotta carry the ball better. Be more attentive for where, you know, where the defense is at. But you gotta carry the ball high and tight. You know, that's what you're supposed to do as a running back. And you know, gotta, gotta learn from it. And be better next time. Frustrating that this team, which has been so good in the red zone, struggled today. I think it was 0 of 3 in, inside the 20. Yeah, definitely frustrating. You know, when we get down there, you want to get points. Um, and, you know, we strung some plays together to get down there. Just couldn't, you know, get in the end zone. And, um, you know, this, that means we got to get back to work and focus on getting better. Something about this team for you guys? I think this is the last three in a row they've got here, and they've all kind of looked the same. Yeah, I don't know. Um, just, you know, they've been playing better the last few times we, we, we faced them. Um, maybe see him again, you know, just try to play better the next time. But, yeah, I know. That's definitely in the back of my mind, and, you know, I just got to move on from it.